Hello and welcome to our reflections on the readings for morning prayer on this week beginning the 15th of March. We're in the book of Jeremiah and you'll find the references for those readings on our newsletter on the website or through the daily prayer app from the Church of England. We're beginning at Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. In these uh, readings these next few days we have a couple of very stark pictures for the message that Jeremiah is trying to get across to the people from God. First we have this one about the difference between those who trust in the Lord and those who do not, those who believe in him, those who do not and the picture is drawn as the difference between the bush that is on its own in the middle of the desert in the wasteland, as opposed to the tree that is beside the stream, whose roots get plenty of water and whose leaves are green and so on and so forth. As we read, let's just allow these pictures to dwell in our minds and form the message that God wants us to hear as well. The second picture is about the potter and he's working at the wheel with a lump of clay. Jeremiah is told to go and watch him and the message of God is that, well, which of them, the potter or the pot, has the right to determine what shape the pot will take? It would seem very obvious to us and yet in the days when this was written, God's people were wanting to make their own destiny, shape their own pot, as opposed to be God's people who were in God's hands to be shaped by him. They were those who would forget God and his ways, those who would worship something other than God those who would walk in an ungodly way. And their way of getting rid of the unwanted godly influence in their lives was to talk about getting rid of the messenger, getting rid of Jeremiah. And yet, of course, the message still remains. The one who sent the messenger still remains. They still have to reckon with the ultimate potter. It's no surprise then that in these verses, in these early chapters, these early days of this week, we read that the heart is deceitful above all things. We're quite good at being able to convince ourselves that God is wrong and that we are right. And yet these chapters challenge us to think otherwise. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, as we read through these chapters, we don't want to simply dwell on what was happening to your ancient people all those years ago in the days of Jeremiah. We want also to hear your word for us today. So give us ears that are open to that message, eyes that see these pictures and take hold of the message that you have for us, that we might grow to become more like the people you want us to be, your chosen people, joining you in your household by your grace. For we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.